Dutch Maggie. Elise. It feels like it's been forever since I've seen you. I know. I'm sorry. I should have come around. Late day? Yeah, I put this boat in yesterday. I just got around to picking it up. Oh, wow. I know. Is anything missing? Missing? These aren't the old days anymore. Or some habit, I guess. <laughs> It was okay. I'm doing okay. I'm still waiting for the bill. Well, if you need anything, I'm here. I'll always be here. Thank you. It's the least I can do. Oh, uh, I forgot to tell you, Liam got promotion, so we're celebrating with tacos tonight. That's really nice. Yeah, it's fun. An exciting night at ours, too. So, <laughs> well, I should head in. If you need to come over, Thank you. I'll see you. See you. Prosperity and war. Strength and equality. I'm sorry. Get the mail? Yes. Here. This all of it? Yes. Thank you. How was your first day as Chief Warrant Officer? Nothing too out of the ordinary, I suppose. How are you? Come on, you got a promotion! There has to be something special about it. At least tell me one interesting thing that happened today. Honey, you know I can't talk about it. Right. But, at least admit it's pretty cool. Yeah, it is pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the mail. I ran into Maggie tonight. Hmm. It seems like we got an extra for this month. How's she doing? She's doing well. We haven't seen them in a while. They should come over for dinner sometime. I guess so. We haven't had company in ages. Join the military. Fight for the greatest good. A promotion? Uh, Elise is making tacos. <laughs> Everything good in this world happens to Liam Durand. When are we going to have what they have? What do you mean? The tables just need to turn, Maggie. As soon as the boss finally gives me my promotion, just enough tucked away for you and me. A wedding, a family. How does that sound? Maggie, what the hell is this? What? Curfew in 10 minutes. Curfew in 10 minutes. A bill for, for an abortion? Were we going to have a baby, Elise? No. No, this isn't mine. Then whose is it? What is this? I, I, I don't know. I think you know exactly what this is. I swear I don't. You're lying again. I'm not. Jack! 
I can explain. You don't need to. It's all there. I told you, it's not mine. Elise, I'm just trying to, to, uh, to understand why I know. You're... I'll tell you. But you have to promise not to get upset. Promise not to get upset? Liam, please. It's Maggie's. The letter is Maggie's. serious time for this. Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't I tell you? Why would I tell a government official that I'm involved with something against the law? What if that government official is your husband? I thought you trusted me. Is that what this is about? Liam, I trust you more than anything, and you know that I had to help Maggie. Why does she need your help? She has a jack. Jack! He hurts her, Liam. Oh, uh, hey, Jack. What's, uh, what's going on? Uh, what's wrong? The electric bill. Uh, received on yours, too. Oh, yeah. Uh, ours was a bit high. Maggie always forgets to turn the lights off while we're at work. I guess it doesn't matter when I'm the one paying the bills. I don't know. Maybe they're just charging extra this month. Why would they do that? Who knows why they do what they do? Here, I'll get this. Want to hear? Sure. Hello? Uh, Elise, I'm coming over Jack Miller. What do you mean? He found the letter, Elise. I'm going to come over. No, it's almost curfew. You can't. So, there's that big man on campus now. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say that. What's your secret? Secret? Well, I need a promotion of my own. And once I get one, I'm planning on proposing. Oh. That, that's great. Hey man, you'll, you'll get it soon enough. To the future. Damn, I should head back. Curfew, but thanks for the drink. What oh, are you God. doing here, honey? Yeah, I thought you were making dinner. Oh, oh, hi, oh, hi, hi, hi. Hi. So nice of you to join us. Would you like a drink? It's true. What's true? The letter. What do you mean? I'm sorry I didn't tell you before. I thought it was the right thing to do. Maggie, he don't tell me it's too late, okay? Jack, I didn't know what to do. What, did what, you what do? to think? It all happened so quickly. Maddie, what are you I talking mean, about? I got the... the the what? What did you get? Abortion. Speak up. Abortion. Speak abortion. up. Abortion. I got an abortion. Abortion. What? Yes, the letter you got mad left, and I... Maggie, he came over here with the electric bill. What? He was mad because the bill was high. Because you never turn off those damn lights. Abortion? We all just. After everything I've done for you? Curfew in two minutes. Curfew in two minutes. Abortion is illegal, Margaret. You have some nerve telling me you broke the law I represent. <laughs> you think you're better than everyone else. Is that it? Let me hear you say it. Jack, stop no, it! No! I want to hear her say it again! Jack, please! Leah, so stay out of this! I said, say it again! What are you hiding? Good evening, sir. No problem here, just a late night catching up. Not you. What are you hiding? Oh, I I'm not. Well, I guess I. Don't guess. I mean,. I'm hiding from, um, I'm hiding, I'm hiding from, 
What are you hiding from? Jack, I'm hiding from Jack. That's why I did it. Now that you've admitted to your crime, it is time to proceed to your penance. However, it seems you're not the only one here that has something they're hiding. Why did you not report this crime when you became aware of it? It was my idea. I told her to get the procedure. And your husband, did he know? No, Liam didn't know. Sorry. Now, your tendencies led Margaret Walsh to deceive you and undergo an illegal procedure. Do you care to comment? No, sir. Very well. As these are rather serious infractions upon our judicial system, and seeing as this community cannot afford to lose valuable members of society, I am asking you to choose. Choose? You are going to decide amongst yourselves which is worse, provoking a crime, conspiring against society, or committing an illegal act. The person whom you believe is most worthy of punishment will be set outside of the walls. Sir, if you'd excuse me, I hardly think this incident is serious enough for someone to be sentenced to death. Life outside of the walls is not a death sentence for those who are strong enough. Do decide quickly. So what are we going to do? You heard him. We're going to have to choose. You don't honestly think I'm going to send myself outside the walls. With everything you've done to her? If anyone deserves to go, it's you. What the hell are you talking about? If she thought she could raise a child with you safely, none of this would have happened. Please. None of this would have happened? If you didn't put the idea in her head, she would have never committed a crime. That's the real issue here. Jack, you need to calm down. I need to calm down. One of us is going to a work camp, and I'll be damned it won't be me. How the hell can you be so sure? How can you Jack, be so sure? Because of you. How you dare you talk to me this way? Sir, I think we've made our decision. Maggie, what are you doing? Who have you decided on? Me. Maggie! It has to be me, Elise. This is my way out. Very well. The semiconductor beam will appear and transport your soul outside of the walls. Your body will be collected in the next 24 hours. Please stand in the spotlight. Maggie, you don't have to do this. Thank you for everything. I wouldn't be strong enough to do this without you. Seven, six. Liam, I'm sorry I got dragged into this. Four, three, two. Bye, Jack. One. 